What's up guys, Christos here. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my June update of my entire stock investment portfolio. I'm going to be updating you on the index funds that I own, the individual stocks that I own where I've actually added a couple this month. And then finally, I'm going to be going through my crypto investment. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a full total of my entire portfolio across all my different accounts to see how well we have done in comparison to last month. So if you are interested in this video and you are excited to see what I have to share then it would really mean a lot if you liked the video and obviously subscribe to the channel if you haven't already but having said all that let's get into it all right so basically the way I like to kick these kind of videos off is with actually a recap on where I was sitting with last month's portfolio and basically the combined portfolios that I have across all my different accounts last month came to a total of 28,125 pounds and 34 pence this figure for me last month was actually the highest my portfolio has ever been and that is very much because I am aggressively investing into the stock market right now. So let's now dive into this month's and see how I have progressed. All right, so let's kick things off with my stocks and shares ISA within my Hargreaves Lansdowne account. Now, basically, this is mainly here just to hold my index funds that I own, plus a couple of really, really big companies that I've owned pretty much since the day that I started investing. So um, let's just go through it and let's start off with, let's actually organize this for from my value um, downwards, so my highest holding first. And let's start off with my VUSA. And basically what I have done, um, if you didn't know what VUSA is, it's basically a ETF that covers the S&P 500, so top 500 companies in the United States. And basically what I have done with this fund, I have actually added, let me just check my uh, notes here, I've added 18 shares at a cost of 1,027 pounds and 87 pence. Moving down, we have the VM ID, which I just mentioned, that is now sitting at £6,179.56. So it's gradually gone up over the last couple of weeks. Last time I did my stock portfolio update, we had a big hit in terms of stock market news. There was uh, inflation rates came out and actually quite a few of my stocks took quite a large hit. But one thing to say about that is that it kind of got hidden under the blanket a little bit because I was investing so much that month. I believe I added about £4,000 that month, which obviously did make my portfolio value higher but in reality some of my index funds had not performed as well as what they were in previous months um, moving on to apple oh one thing to note actually um, all of these values where it's saying um, my up percentage these uh, shouldn't even be looked at don't even pay any attention to these basically i've recently just moved all of my money into a stocks and shares isa um, and basically the values are reset when you change different accounts so um, my apple investment is actually one of my highest up ones but when I moved the money over from my um, other account obviously straight after that we had some bad news about uh, the stock market and Apple dropped quite a lot from there um, so yeah just talking about Apple we're currently sitting at five thousand and forty three pounds obviously it's nowhere near the highest what I used to have it I believe the highest I've had it currently is about 5,300 pounds. Not really added much to Apple recently, although I have been very much tempted to simply because it's been in a little bit of a dip recently. And obviously it's one of my favorite companies, if not my favorite company to invest in. It was the first company I ever invested into as well. Um, but it's just like, it's like I say, it's just gonna be sitting there and I probably should start adding more stocks to it in the future, but I've just been focusing on other ones in my other accounts, which we're going to get to very, very shortly. Shortly. Um, moving down, we have Facebook stock, which has now gone back into the plus since I moved those accounts over, of course. I'm still very much up on Facebook stock. I bought 10 shares when it was at around $170. The stock is now sitting at just over $300. Offer a screenshot of the exact price it's sitting at right now. Um, so obviously well up on Facebook, but it's recently just gone into the plus since the, uh, the change that I made. So that one's doing really good. The one that isn't performing too well is coca-cola but one good thing about coca-cola is that it pays really really good dividends and whilst my kind of overall um stock is down with coca-cola i believe i invested exactly two thousand pounds into coca-cola the uh the dividend payments that i've received in the last 18 months or so has more than made up for um for the uh the loss that i've made there so um it's sitting pretty flat at the moment but like i said things are starting to open up um after all of the lockdowns and stuff like that 
Coca-Cola is going to be used a lot more in restaurants and I can personally see this one gradually rising much more in the future. Like I said, not a massive growth stock. I'm only invested in Coca-Cola for consistent dividends. But just going back to the stocks and shares ISA as a total, we're sitting at around £23,664.83. Like I said, do not pay attention to the total losses and gains. It's actually much higher than that. If I was going to take a rough guess, I would say I'm about 4000 up in terms of interest on this account. Um, but that is just very much a rough guess. But um, I don't want you to take that as a literal uh, figure. What I'm going to do now is move on to some of the more recent investments that I've been making on my Trading212 account. All right, so this one here is my Trading212 general investment account. And if you watched last month's update, you will have maybe noticed that this one has gone up quite a lot in value. And that is very much number one, I've had one investment that has seen really, really good performance. And then number two, I have actually invested quite a lot of money myself into this account. So um, let's start off and let's just go with the order that we are currently in. And let's start off with Coinbase. Now, not a massive amount, as you can see, I've only invested around around 500 pounds or just over 500 pounds and we are slightly down but I personally believe that Coinbase is so undervalued if we just take a look at the chart here um, from the last three months obviously as you can see it opened up at around $320 and it's dipped all the way to 230 odd that's when I personally bought it um, at around kind of 240 so um, uh, which is lower than the IPO price um, and obviously it's seen a little bit more of a dip since since then but I personally believe we're at the bottom of Coinbase right now and um, I'm going to continue investing into it hopefully a little bit more this month whilst the price is so low but I can really see this one going up in the future obviously not really seen much gain well we've actually seen a loss currently at the moment but um, like I said not worried about that at all now let's move on to one that has done extremely well and um, I'm not sure exactly how much I was up or down in the last video that I made I'll throw a screen screenshot up just for reference but in the last month this stock here has seen such a good amount of performance um, that is tattoo chef by the way I have added um, let me just check my notes on how much I have added I have added 17 new shares um, this month of tattoo chef just buying it um, as and when I can when I've got spare money and as you can see we are up 24% on this company in just such a short period of time if we were to look at the uh, the month chart as you can see this time last month which is about when I did my update it was on $18 a share and it has now gone up to $22.49 that is roughly a $4 increase and when you've got 100 shares plus of that stock obviously even that is still quite a small amount that is still going to be quite a lot 100 times 40 obviously is 400 and that is roughly what I am up right now as you can see 393 pounds um, so I am doing quite well with this stock and this is one that I'm going to constantly be adding to. I did release a video that I said that I was going to keep buying this stock until it was at least $25 a share and uh, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing. In fact, I plan on adding hopefully some today. We'll, uh, we'll see how much time I've got left after filming and editing this video. But moving down, I've obviously got Walmart stock here which hasn't seen the best amount of performance since I started investing in it. It's been in the red pretty much from day one but like, like I say, nothing major simply because I haven't invested that much into it anyway but just like coca-cola this isn't a stock that i'm expecting masses amount of growth from um, right away i do expect long-term growth like over 10 15 years and once again just like all of these uh, companies i'm only just starting my positions in all of these companies and i plan to build on them much more in the future as you can see we have seven shares of walmart and i have added two since the last update um, which i've just basically dollar cost average down um, and bought it there. My average price per share now sits at $141.47. Uh, so we're not far off the actual stock price. I'm hoping for some good performance um, over the next couple of months um, as things start to open up, but um, we'll see on that one. B 
but yeah that's walmart like i said i'm just going to try and gradually add to this um but obviously other companies are taking precedence at the at the moment next up we have walt disney where i added a couple shares this month i believe it was either one or two nothing absolutely major and obviously this is the position that i am down most in in terms of percentage wise um and that is simply because of the uh, disappointing earnings uh, numbers that they released on their subscriber count around about three weeks ago now and it's not really recovered to the point where um, it should have done yet but one good thing about Disney is that all of the parks are now starting to open up um, obviously Disney Plus is still growing at an unbelievably uh, good rate even though they didn't hit the estimates that they wanted to hit um, but still once again this is a company that i have full belief in in the future and i think it's going to take over netflix in terms of the uh the streaming services side of things i have actually started watching a lot of star i'm actually re-watching 24 at the moment and i personally think that the platform especially with star included into it now is only going to get even better in the future and i think this company has a lot of growing to do even though it's still one of the biggest companies out there right now. So um, pretty much when you look at my um, whole entire portfolio, most of this one is invested into Tattoo Chef. As you can see, it's my largest holding in uh, in this one. And like I said, all of these companies I'm looking on adding, I'm only just getting started with my positions in, uh, in all four of these companies. And there are a couple that I'm looking to add as well in the uh, future, which hopefully you're going to see in the uh, next stock portfolio update but we'll see how my money lies whether i've got enough money to invest and stuff like that so um total portfolio value sits at four thousand four hundred and sixty four pounds and sixty six pence and that leaves me basically a return of three hundred and fourteen pounds it's constantly updating as you can see and seventy six pence which is a seven point five nine percentage return and i've had this account for about two months so very very happy with this at the moment it's sitting quite solid and that return is uh, completely true because I've not switched any stocks around over different accounts these have been pretty much from the day that I started investing into this company so um, that's my trading 212 portfolio let's now move on to crypto all right so this one here is where things get a little bit more interesting and a little bit more volatile but on my case a lot more <laughs> depressing but um, basically if we are looking at this chart here we can see the one month chart and if we see the little figure up there below my real portfolio balance one month ago this portfolio was sitting at three thousand and fifty four pounds and seventy seven pence and over the last month my crypto investment portfolio has dropped over one thousand pounds and that's been down to pretty much one absolute and that is Elon Musk, who has just been pretty much tweeting everything negative that he can find about cryptos, uh, Bitcoin. And it's just he's completely controlled this market from his Twitter account, um, which isn't the greatest thing. It doesn't really say much about the uh, crypto space at the moment. But I am standing strong with this. As you can see, my main investment and all my investments, apart from 70 pence, which is in Bitcoin, is all in Ethereum, which uh, is the only one I really understand and um, I think it's really important when you invest into anything to fully understand it and I really like Ethereum um, I like the potential future that can uh, come with it in terms of the smart contracts um, and things like that and using it just in general use um, not so much for paying for things but other things and stuff like that so um, that's where all of my money is the crypto portfolio myself has gone down like quite a lot as you can see but overall um, over the course of four years or so however long I've been invested into uh, ethereum because I haven't sold any of it since I bought 1.11 as you can see um, we are still massively up on this account I believe I bought my uh, ethereum for like 800 pounds at the time or 700 pounds it was when it was booming back in late 2017 so um, yeah not over the moon about it but at the same time I'm not really really sad either it's just something that has sat there for the last four years I have no plans on selling it for the very very long term um, hoping one day it can go up to maybe 10,000 and maybe I will buy some more as well especially if it keeps dipping at this rate um because i do really believe in this for the long term uh and things like that so uh 2029 pounds and 44 pence as you can see this updates uh all the time it's probably changed a few times since i was talking about it 
Um, but yeah, that's my crypto portfolio. All right, so when we take all three of those portfolios and add them all up, that gives me my final total portfolio value across all of my investments, which is now currently sitting at £30,154.91. When we compare that to my last month's portfolio value, which was £28,125.34, we have seen a rise of £2,029 pounds and 57 pence which is a rough increase of 7.2 percent which i am very very happy about one thing to obviously note is i have added money into these portfolios so it hasn't been all interest based um, but obviously we have seen some nice gains with my tattoo chef stock um, and a couple of the other ones as well but like i say most of this money is coming from me investing my own personal money into these portfolios which i am absolutely fine about because like i always say I am in this for the long term and I've got 10, 15, 20 plus years for this money to actually start working for me. So um, this was my portfolio update for the month of June. I hope you got some value from it. I hope you got some insights into some of the companies I've started building positions in. If you did enjoy it, of course, leave this video a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you want to keep in touch with more of these stock portfolio updates in the future because I will be releasing these every single month just so I can be fully transparent with you guys. Um, other than that, I shall catch you guys in the next video. Take care.